Hi, this is Frankie and I'm going to show you how to do page numbering in the exam proposals at Stanford College. This is uh, quite a difficult task to do and uh, especially so when the exam proposal is divided into three sections. Section 1 is the cover page in black. Section 2 is the question paper depicted here by the purple section text and section 3 is the marking scheme depicted here in the blue text okay the first thing that uh, first thing that we need to do is to is to first of all create an a page break at the bottom of the cover page so you go to first of all click an, an insertion point at the bottom of the cover page, click on insert break, choose section break types, next page, click OK. Now you notice that uh, when I did that, page 2 which is the start of the exam question paper itself, that page went down, went down by one text, went by one line, so I'm going to just press delete and uh, if you notice, you can see that right now, if I were to click on the cover page, I am at section 1. If I scroll down to the question paper page, I am now at section 2, so it's working. So let's just scroll down. This is still the question paper. Now I'm at the marking scheme. Now the marking scheme is still section 2, so I'm going to make the marking scheme part of the exam paper, I'm going to make it as, sec as section 3 by going to the bottom of the last page of the question paper, that's the last page of the question paper, and I'm going to insert a page break, and under section break types choose next page, click OK. So now you can see that this is section 3, if I were to click on the last page of the question paper, that's section 2, so that's what we want. So let's just tidy this up a little bit. There you go. Okay, so let me zoom out a bit. Now you can see I'm now at section 1, this is section 2, that's section 2, and that's section 3. So that's the first part. Now the second part is to put in the page numbers and this part is quite tricky because the cover page should not show any page numbering question paper should start at, at page 1 and so on and so forth and then the marking scheme should restart at page 1 so to do this what I'm going to do is I'm going to click uh, on view header and footer now we can see all the header and footers I'm going to click an insertion point on the footer section and uh, before I type anything to make sure that we can see the page numbering clearly I'm gonna choose a larger font font 48 which uh, will mess up my screen a bit so I just need to just need to um, try that again perhaps choose a smaller font so let's go to header footer and I'm gonna choose font size uh, 38 okay now let's type uh, let's try that again font size 38 enter let's type page and then click on insert page number now you can't see it because it's too small let me let me highlight the whole thing click on bold and choose font size 38 okay <coughs> there you go now you can see that the pages are numbered from page 1, page 2, page 3, and page 4. Okay, now let's just check the sections. Section 1, section 1 there, section 2, it's still section 2, and that's section 3. Perfect. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is to, um, is to format the page numbering so that 
section 2 page numbering does not follow section 1's page numbering. So to do this, I'm going to click on section 2 page numbering, section 2 footer, and I'm going to unlink that page from the previous page by clicking this. Okay. Next, I'm going to click on footer of section 3, and I need to unlink that from the previous page. There we go. Next, I click on uh, page 2 and uh, click on format page number. So, this gives me the format page number, page number format dialog box. Start at page 1, click OK. Now, you see that's page 1, page 2, and page 3. Okay, so far it's working. Click on the footer of page of the marking scheme. Click on make sure that uh, it's unlinked. Yes, it's not following the previous page. Click on format page number. I'm sorry. Click on uh, yeah format page number. Start at page one. There you go. Now the last thing that we need to do is to uh, as you can see page one that's of the marking scheme. Now the last thing we need to do is to remove this uh, this page numbering here. So we can just delete that, highlight that uh, footer and press delete. It works because the second page is no longer linked to the previous page. So let me close and uh, you can't see the page numbering footers very well because they are in grey. So let me click again on the footer. Now you can see that the cover page is uh, the cover page does not have any page numbering. The question paper has got page one and page two, and the marking scheme has got restarts from page one. So there you go. That's it. Works. So that's how we do page numbering in. Uh, Microsoft Word 2000, especially for the exam proposals created by the lecturers and teaching staff of Stanford College and Stanford College Malacca. Thank you very much.